I am Honor ultimately, Kyrie. thank you, I am ultimately and definitely on Kyrie's side, and I want to be very clear about this. This is another classic case of LeBron and his inner circle attempting to turn LeBron into the victim here, when, in fact, Kyrie was always the victim from the very start. And as I pointed out to you yesterday, Kyrie had just inked a five-year extension, had all kinds of promises from his ownership, starting with Dan Gilbert, that he was going to be the man for the next five years. And boom, 11 days, only 11 days later, LeBron's coming home. And Kyrie sacrificed and sacrificed and sacrificed. And as I said yesterday, he finally got sick and tired of sacrificing for one LeBron James. But I want to also be very clear. I have absolutely no issue with what my friend Stephen A. Smith is reporting here. I'm merely reacting to what he is reporting from those insiders. I don't know who it could come from. Maybe Maverick Carter, maybe Rich Paul. Uh, I know them. Uh, I, I like all of them. But... They have a goal here. They have a job to do, and that's to defend their man, LeBron James. And again, I don't like the issue of turning LeBron into the victim, even though I'm going to give you up front one big point here. This reminds me a little bit of Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, just a little bit, because obviously Russell was blindsided a year ago on July 4th when suddenly Kevin Durant sends him a text saying, boom. I'm leaving Oklahoma City for Golden State, and Russell didn't have any indication of that in any one-on-one -on -one conversation they had had, even though, I must say this, I had been reporting it for not one year or two years, for three long years. I reported that ultimately Kevin Durant will leave Oklahoma City because he is getting sick and tired of trying to play to coexist with Russell Westbrook. Unfortunately, Kevin had never really relayed that personally in one-on-one -on -one conversations to Russell, so Russell obviously was angry because he felt blindsided. Now, in this case, a little bit different because Kyrie has had several, may maybe many, one-on-one -on -one conversations with LeBron James over the years. Remember, they got off to a rocky start. Right. And he has expressed superficially that he's had some issues with LeBron, but hasn't gone into the gory detail that my source close to Kyrie went into me over the with me over the weekend. Okay. And my source, and I'm just going to, this is word for word what my source told me. So I said this to you yesterday, now I'm just going to read it to you word for word. Kyrie just never enjoyed playing with LeBron because it went well from the start, i.e. they started winning together, mm -hmm. He just stifled it. Now he's just over it. He just can't defer to LeBron James anymore. I told you that yesterday, and I'm going to stand by that again today. But did Kyrie go into that much gory detail with LeBron? I'm going to give you this point. He probably should have been a little more specific, and I'm sure LeBron does feel a little bit blindsided by all that has come out because the initial reports on ESPN.com were that Kyrie is evading, that was the line used in the headline, the word used in the headline, evading LeBron. He wants out from under LeBron James. Okay. So back to my reports yesterday. According to my source, Kyrie just got sick and tired of LeBron's what he called passive aggressive leadership. A lot of social media posting, we've seen some in the last 24 to 48 hours, in, in which he would hint at this and hint at that. They're cryptic. They're, they're a little between the lines. You're not sure exactly where he's going with it, but Kyrie's a more upfront, in-your-face kind of guy. Just tell me what your issues are, and we will deal with them. And he believed ultimately, and this is from my source, that LeBron cared more about himself and his brand than he did about the basketball team, that he didn't take losing, he did not take losing quite as hard as Kyrie takes losing and I told you yesterday, Kyrie takes it over hard sometimes. He's very hard on himself. He's very hard on everything that is going on around him. He gets a little psycho about it, but he thought LeBron, as long as LeBron played well enough that his stats would speak for himself, a la NBA Finals, first man ever to average a triple-double in the Finals, that he was satisfied with that. What did I tell you the day after Game 5, the closeout game in the Finals? I came right in here and sat right here, and I told you, Man, LeBron looked so satisfied last night. He actually looked relieved it was over because he recorded the first ever triple-double for an entire finals, but they lost in five games. And it didn't look like LeBron really cared about that because, as we know, he'd made it clear, I just don't have enough help.
And by the way, that quote, which was uttered by LeBron, remember, on January 23rd after the loss at New Orleans, mm -hmm. really rankled Kyrie. This whole idea of we're top heavy as you know what. We need more bottom. We need, we need more depth. I need more help. And Kyrie was offended by that because he's very proud and very smart. And he he thought they had plenty of firepower, that, they, that he and LeBron were enough to go beat whoever was in Golden State. Kevin Durant joined forces with well, all those superheroes. Well, they did not. And Kyrie did not like it. And he never liked it from the start that he was forced to play with LeBron. So they did win a championship together. And Kyrie did hit a huge shot in game seven. And LeBron played great in those last three games. And now at age 25, Kyrie has just had enough of everything LeBron because LeBron can be a little moody from day to day. As I've told you, the king can be occasionally a drama queen. And after a while, Kyrie just said, you know what? I'm going to force their hand. I'm out. But again, LeBron's point through Stephen A is that don't rake my name over the coals mm -hmm. as you leave. But I think Kyrie doesn't know how else to leave except just to say, I just didn't like it here. I didn't like playing with LeBron because I didn't choose to play with LeBron. He actually chose to come play with me. So I got stuck with this, and now I want out of this. With two years left on my deal, whether Cleveland will honor that, I have no idea. Maybe they won't, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of teams are lining up right now with the best offer they can make for Kyrie Irving. So I don't think LeBron was the victim here. I think Kyrie ultimately, and in the beginning, was the real victim here. You got a lot. You you, you got a lot for me to digest, mm -hmm. and I, I was jotting down and yes, trying to I digest noticed. this yes. as much as I possibly could. Yeah. So let me try to unpack. I, I mean, I like that terminology mm -hmm. you use. Let me try to unpack some of the stuff that you packed ni nicely and neatly into the suitcase. You said you're on Kyrie's side. I'm on LeBron's side. You said Kyrie said he didn't want to sacrifice anymore. Kyrie sacrificed being in the lottery every year that LeBron wasn't there to go into three straight finals. Mm -hmm. That's some sacrifice. I, I hear you. Okay. I get it, but he was just a baby coming in the league, 18, 19, 20. You know, okay. Now he's a man. Okay. Now he's a grown man, and he feels like he could do it by himself. You said LeBron is trying, LeBron and his team is trying to portray LeBron as a sympathetic figure. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want sympathy. How about respect? Is that asking too much? See, LeBron doesn't have a, LeBron has made it abundantly clear. I do not have a problem with Kyrie leaving. I left Cleveland to go to Miami. I then, in turn, left Miami to come back to Cleveland. Not at one point. Now, you can surmise all you want to why he left Cleveland, why he left Miami to return to Cleveland. But he never said it was Bosch. He never said it was D. Wade. He never said it was any of his former teammates. He just chose to leave, which is well within his rights. And by the way, can I make a point of sure. order here? And I think Joy will back me up on this. Dwayne Wade did not know LeBron was leaving until just the night before he made the uh, big announcement, right? right? And I'm so, coming home. You know, I'm coming home. Yeah. So, again, sometimes these things play out where it just happens, where you just have to go ahead and react. And I did not condemn LeBron for not keeping Dwayne in the loop. He just suddenly decided he's out. And I think he was out because he thought Dwayne was getting a little old and frail. I, that's what see, I think. Skip, the thing for me is, is that, <clears throat> and I'm going to get back to some of your points, is that it, seem, it appears to me that LeBron's saying, leave, leave, if that's what you want to do. And, and, and you're probably right, Kyrie. You probably deserve to be the captain of your own ship. But my name shouldn't come out your dentures. My name shouldn't be uttered because you're trying to make it seem like that I'm an unbearable teammate. See, that's what Kyrie is portraying. He's unbearable. Why would anybody, and you've heard Dame Lillard, he's like, I don't know LeBron the player, but LeBron, I mean, who doesn't want to go to the finals every year? But Kyrie, basically by saying this, finals is not important to him. Mm -hmm. Being the captain is important to him. He's like Captain Phillips. Look at me. Mm. I'm the captain now. He's never ever going to be big as LeBron James. He can go to New York. He can go to, he can go to uh, Golden State, San Antonio. He's never skipped. It's not going to happen. See, the thing is, is that he's looking at it like, okay, Kobe and Shaq. Kobe got fed up with Shaq because Shaq was reporting to camp more and more out of shape. He felt Shaq wasn't dedicating himself as much as he was. And he couldn't, he's like, no, I can't. And he felt he wasn't going to get the credit that he rightfully deserved. 
as long as Shaq was there. Because it got to the point that town, this town we're in right now, yep. not big enough for the both of them. Somebody right. wanted a solo stage, and right. it was Kobe. LeBron has gone out of his way. He said Kyrie is special. At every turn, Kyrie is special. Kyrie can win an MVP. That's what LeBron has done. He's heaped praise mm -hmm. on Kyrie Irving. And in return, oh, I can't play with this guy. He makes it seem like, man, this is a drag, man. I mean, y'all, yeah, it's going to finals, but, man, LeBron, now here's a guy that, because he has a lot of sponsorship, Skip, he will get gifts, be it beats or whatever the case may be, and heap lavishly on his teammates. Make sure that whatever he has, they have. And then Kyrie turns around and... I can't play because he knew if you says I just want to get traded, he knew if you bring LeBron into the mix, he already know what Dan Gilbert going to do. Dan Gilbert said what he said, but he's not choosing Kyrie Irving over LeBron James.